afternoon everyone um i'm now in back in the craft room the original craft room which i can show you shortly because i've almost finished it but it's been one hell of a task because for the last well since lockdown there's only been me working here and you know i can't I haven't done everything, I haven't kept it as spick and span as I normally have it and everything organised. You saw it the other day where some of the laces were um, a bit mixed up. <laughs> I've now got it completely organised and I'm absolutely thrilled. So um, I've shown you a couple of pictures. I know some of it doesn't look like it's organised, but to me it's organised because I'm the one that works in this room. Anyway, a couple of books have come in that I've been looking for. This is Old Fashioned Ribbon Trimmings and Flowers by Mary Brooks Picking. And I've, I have gone through, like I've shown you this technique, I've shown you several of the techniques, but it is handy to have in and you can get more copies online. So that's who to look for, that's the name of the book. And it is, unfortunately, black and white. But still, they are the vintage ribbon, ribbon bows, vintage ways. I've shown you how to do all of this. I, I didn't think I could actually get the book with that in, but I've managed to do that. So that's one book. And this book is the one I really wanted, which is uh, by Helen Gibb. Um, the, it's forward by Carol Duval, or Duval. And it's Ribbon Work, The Complete Guide, Techniques for Making Ribbon Flowers and Trimmings. And I have, I've been, the flowers I've been showing you how to do um, come from this era. And so I like this one because it's coloured and it's just so easy to um, to copy them. Now, when I say that, for me, it's easy enough, but for a beginner or whatever, you're probably looking at that and going, God, I can't do that. But you can, you can. You follow my instructions. I take you through how to do them step by step. Each flower, I show you how to do step by step. And in that way, you can go ahead and make something like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series. I'm not sure how many flowers in one video. I will do as many as I can because that's a great way for having something that you can look back on. But, you know, it'll probably take six or seven videos and we'll do a complete series of how to do the ribbon work and making your ribbons work for you. Now, I know a lot of people house, own, own um, a lot of ribbon and they're still sat there doing absolutely nothing because a lot of people, may not believe it, but it's true, don't actually know what to do with ribbon. And I have to tell you, um, I get so many letters from people saying, Fee, have all this ribbon, uh, my grandma left me all the ribbon, or my mother gave me all my grandma's ribbons, my mum's passed away and I've got all her stuff and I don't know what to do with it. And I get dozens and dozens and dozens of uh, emails and letters from people trying to give them ideas. And I just say, look on the website because on this, on the website with, you know, over 5,000 videos, yes, I do keep repeating myself because it's nearly 6,000 now. And 
um, we do sell all the equipment to make these lovely things and our motto is make what you can and buy what you can't make and I teach you how to make them so you can do them and I'm just going to show you something I'll be back in a minute I've uh, started to do the books but I've now bought a binder so I can do these sort of books myself because these were expensive and only little books as you can see but this is one of my creations I mean look you just learn how to do your flowers and then what you learn is how to put them together uh, sorry I'll just try the flower ones show you the flowers look I teach you how to make different leaves how to make different flowers how to make one flower look different completely this is an embroidered butterfly that we put on a beaded one and I do have one somewhere whoops nearly broke my ditch let me just see if I can find it oh we do these as well you know showing you how to so you can put that onto a project oh I've lots of these look you can just embroider anything oh here we are i think it's here what's this one? Oh no this is an insect look sorry an insect and i've got a video on how to do that so we really can teach you a lot here's another one mixing pearls bling uh, fabric flowers paper flowers there's lots and lots and lots that you can learn and then you can make things yourself and then you can get them online and sell them so that was uh, one of the handmade flower patches that I did here's the butterfly look so we've got a video on how to do that I have videos on how to do these how to do different flowers to be able to make these kind of things again different flowers chiffon flowers we have taffeta fabric taffeta, taffeta ribbon um silks you name it we do it this was a hambroid this was silk this is a silk uh, ribbon flower on a um a ring so i'm actually making it from ribbon i show you how to do these to sew these onto a little um cameo and then add your lace look at these all different handmade flowers done in different ways using bling using beads decorating appliques again another one of those it's just you can learn to put it all together look these bibs I mean they sell out when I make them and to be honest with some of them you get you don't get a lot on them nowhere near what I put on mine and a lot of them are just rolled ribbons uh, handmade this one was just a uh, sections of ribbon put round and round and round each other really very simple this was a beautiful flower that we did where you you stitch the outside and you stitch a quarter of an inch on the inside and you pull them together and it just makes a vintage well it's an old victorian flower some more look making these tiny little flowers and these little buds for lots of different things making your own tassels and now I've shown this before but there are a lot of new people who probably haven't seen this I show you how to make the tassels I should you know like these are all handmade beaded they're not what I've bought and put together I've made those um this was already made but we put them together that was a handmade look again just to make a look like card toppers card decorators you can do this in fact you can actually do it with icing for making cakes it's not that hard it really isn't it's knowing where to put what 
to make it look nice. A lot of people start a project and what they can't do is they overlay and they lose what they were doing in the first place or they smother all the materials they've used and you just see the top layer and they think, well, there's tons on it, but what is the rest? And that's one of the things you need to train yourself. I've had to do it because I, I don't go OTT. Um, sometimes I can go under, you know, put far less on than what I should. Uh, but then I can always go back and change that. But it's harder when you've already put it all on. But, you know, these were just like fans, handmade fans. Again, more bibs. Mixing, and these are all the bibs. Mixing and matching. All pearls and a big rose in the middle. Lace and bling. Lots and lots of different things. So... I am getting more of those. Well, I was going to order more of those books, but then I thought, you know what? I've bought the uh, thing now with last month's uh, earnings from YouTube, um, you know, from people joining, two ninety nine. Just look under the latest videos. There's a big join button. I'll go to my homepage and there's a join button there. Join it, pay two ninety nine. You get videos that nobody else will get. You have them longer than they do anyway, because I have to put them all up eventually. But like I say, um, yeah, come along join in it's fun and you're going to learn an awful lot anyway this is a ribbon work the complete guide techniques for making ribbon flowers and trimmings and this is helen gibb and we're going to go through some of these and she dedicated this book to her students who love ribbon work as much as she does and it's really quite simple to achieve look Really quite simple. We're going to do some of these projects. And I'm going to take you through it, how to do it. There she is, Helen Gibb. And she's done a nice vanity set here. And this is ribbon work from the 1920s. Um, a retrospective. She says, before we begin... It is important to recognise the difference between ribbon work and silk ribbon embroidery. While both the surface embellishments made from ribbons, the techniques used for each are very different. And that's very true, they are. Lots and lots of uh, beautiful things. That are... I've already shown you a lot of these flowers and uh, leaves and things like that. Some of the work I don't like. Um, I don't. I. I just think that. Um, I don't know. I like things elegant and very simple, and very pretty. And some just look overdone to me. But there you go. See, this is embroidery. This is embroidered. So that's embroidered onto a project, like I showed you that. This one. Let me just find this one. That one. That one, that's embroidered ribbon, where these that I'm using for this isn't. I've made them and then sewn them onto a patch. It is very different. There's some very intricate work because you can do your embroidery on it as well. I mean, this is gorgeous. So I might show you something like that. And everything's 3D. And then you put it all together and you pop it onto there. So I have a lot of the trimmings and I can make what I haven't got. And I think we'll do something like that. Um, I've bought, uh, I have bought I bought it a long time ago. Some very, um, it's like a um, moss green felt that I've started to do some leaves. I'll show you those. So I started to do some of these the the other night for the last couple of days i'm sorry i've not been on i've not been too good i um ate something i shouldn't have done or caught a bug one or the other but it bothered me <laughs> anyway so what i've been doing with the felts this moss felt is doing different styled leaves 
you know, getting them ready for projects. But I will take you through each uh, one. There's those as well. And then some plain ones. And we'll make some we'll be making some bits and pieces. So that's what I've got so far. Uh, but I will be coming back and sharing with you how to make more. These are very, very simple. And yes, you can use this sort of um, ribbon, which we do have it in the other room. So uh, I will be sharing with you how you do that. There's just lots and lots of different ways of making things pretty and how they did them way back when. 1920s instruction book from 1920s so this was the instruction book ribbon and fabric trimmings ribbon art now what I'm going to do is um, well yeah well what I can do is just show you as many flowers out of them as well, as I can the gallery of 1920 ribbon work See, it looked so beautiful on the clothing. And you can do this easily. And we're going to learn how to. That very simple but elegant looking trimming. Just a small composition of a rose and two small blossoms, most likely for use on lingerie, a nightcap or a, a hanky sachet. The blossoms have twisted petals and the rose is similar to a coil rose. So that's that one. So I think what we'll do is we will come back and we will do some of these and I'll share with you how you do them. Supplies for ribbon work. A ribbon work supply box is not complete without notions and a stash of ribbons, trims, lace, beads, feathers, millinery flowers and buttons. This chapter will discuss the supplies needed and also encourage you to collect a few more goodies such as hand dyed velvet and silk fabrics, uh, some small porcelain half dolls to dress and of course a little album to cover, some silk prints and a box or two and on and on be inspired. Well, the thing is, um, this is the sort of box that they had with a little bit of this, a little bit of that in. And, I mean, today, regarding ribbons, you can buy a plain white silk ribbon and colour it any colour you like, using full colouring, using dyes, sprays, whatever you want to do with it. Crinolines. Now, I have some crinoline. I just happen to have some nearby. I can get my hands on it. This is the crinoline that I use and you just add your pieces onto what you're doing when you've made them, you know, fill it all in and then you cut it out once you've done your project, turn it upside down and trim round and then that can be sewn on or stuck onto something. So yes, I do have some of that. And I might, what I might do is do something like this as a little kit. You know, the little kit, but give you enough, plenty for you to have. So that you can do this sort of thing yourself. I might do little kits, I'm not sure. I can put a millinery kit together. And I think that would be a good idea. We already sell the scissors and whatnot as well. You know, so yeah. I'm just waiting for these to come in. The stamen little pin cushion well I'll show you use bracelets use tubs to make your pin cushions and whatnot look at these beautiful flowers so right now I'm not in there where the computer is I'm actually sat back at my desk yeah <laughs> I love it selection of ribbons these are wire edge ribbons and we sell all the ribbons you need Look, we sell lots and lots of different ribbons and we sell all the leaves as well. Although we show you how to make leaves from ribbons. We sell all this trimming, the beady trimming and the edging, all of this. So yeah. And you add little bits to it as well. 
Look at these. It says beginning tips and stitches. As with all works of art, the preparation of the materials and understanding of the techniques play an important role in ribbon work. Learn the basic stitches and concepts from ribbon work and then read the helpful hints and tips for an enjoyable and successful ribbon journey. You don't need to learn that, um, read that um, because it can be quite a lot to read. <clears throat> you can follow step by step videos that I uh, teach you how to do it. So yeah, lots of techniques. And lots of ways of making a petal from a, a ribbon. I even have a video. I even have. I have a video that show you how to make your stamen. And I also show you how to make the little rack to put the stamen on. And if you can't find it. Because I know that YouTube have been taking some of my videos down again. Unfortunately. They just... It's heartbreaking, but what can you do? They just please themselves. They don't want us on here, that's the point. But anyway, um, yeah, so I will do that again. We will make a little stand and I'll show you how to make the stamen. And you just leave them to dry. And then when they're done, they're done. I think that will start there, making the stamen. And we can make some little bobbles as well. And then you put your stamen around that. So you're getting this centre look. It's all so easy to do. So easy. Shows you how to tie things off, how to do things at the back. Yeah. And that's the one on the front. Twisting, knotting, shearing, um, ruching, gathering, creating bows and pleating. And there's just so much that you can do and learn how to do it yourselves I've done this one for you but I've got a video out on the knots how to do the knot one but we did this one with more layers and this one um, is using different fabrics and look little flowers as well It's just to make the flowers look different. So yeah. You see if you do your zigzag and do them an inch apart and then pull it you get the ruche. And you can do it like that, and you end up with a flower, which I've shown you how to do. Fraying the edges to make the uh, carnation. Making bows. I've shown you how to do this one. But I really don't mind doing it again. Lots and lots of ways. That's showing you how to do, make them look like cut flowers. It's really clever, but very good. So how to make this, and that's the stages. How to make your little, um, these, so the berries. And you're just doing stitch up one side, stitch along the bottom, see, or the top. And then you pull it together, put your little bit of cotton wool in or your uh, fibre. And then you stitch the top, look. You do them in different sizes, made from different fabrics, and they look totally different. It's a bell flower, that one. How to do the tubing to go at the top here on your stems. They're all made from um, ribbon. Look at these beautiful flowers. I've shown you that one.
and lots of different variations. Look at this. To get a big uh, petal, you do a longer width. And that's why I do the fullness in them. I like that. Look, you're just gathering them all the same, but they all look different because of the type of fabric you've used. You can do individual petals. You can do continuous petals. Or you can do, uh, it's like a the ro flat rosette ribbon. Just lots and lots and lots of different things. How to make the roses. I'm not that keen on these roses because to me they, they look worn and and that. But if I'm doing a, a project, I don't want mine to look worn. I want them to look fresh and real. But yeah. See, the way you do them, the length of your stitches, it all, you know, amounts to how your flowers turn out. And these are the ones I share with you a lot. But I've been making flowers like this for years, trying to bring back the tea, uh, technique and, you know, I mean, look, the petal, and I put stamen in mine. The basic rose uh, bud. Uh, this is the fuchsia, the ribbon guide for fuchsias. So it shows you how to do it. Um, the vintage flat rose. And that's put onto the um, crinoline. Just fantastic and I've shown you how to do these yeah shown you these shown you this you just need to learn how to put them together like this one I'm not that keen on but no. spring brooch roses and bell flowers and there you go that's the book and um i'm thrilled to have it i'm thrilled to own it to be honest oops got a bead it's going to be a tremendous help for me to be able to bring you the beauty of the ribbon work and that's the book if anyone wants to go and get it Thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.